Welcome back to, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, another unboxing video. Though I'm not really sure if there's <laughs> too much to unbox in here. Again, two identical pieces. If you saw the previous unboxing video about uh, external 3.5 inch. Yeah, not much in here, 3.5 inch. Uh, external HDD cases, you probably can guess, okay, again, two boxes in here, what this will be. And yeah, there's nothing of interest in here, just the invoice. Let's get cracking. So yes, these boxes are <laughs> definitely not for consumer products. Let's see what we got in here. Oh just a blister with a yeah still sealed hard disk oh, let me adjust the exposure yeah you will have to live with the reflections for a moment uh, until i can get this out of the sealed bags but let's have a look at the label so we're talking here uh, Toshiba MG08AD-A600E. And of course it comes in a sealed bag, but this should be easy to open. And then we can get rid of the bag, which will make things hopefully a little bit easier. Uh, still reflecting a little bit. So uh, yeah, let's put something down here and again, we have a label and just out of interest, yo, uh, there's no moisture absorbent baggie in here. Um, yeah, let's have a look at that label. So that would be again Toshiba MG08 ADA600E serial ATA disk, six terabytes. Uh, at the 12 volt rail, it was a max of 0.78 amps. At, at the five point rail, it draws 0.75 amps. We already saw the top. The back features a nice bluish PCB. And here at the end is your run of the mill SATA data and power connector. Now let's put one of these uh, bad boys into one of the two new Fantec external three and a half inch cases here with uh, <laughs> eSATA and USB 3. Okay, uh, car to the unboxing of these thingies here uh, in the corner and link in the description. Just because I'm curious, I will put uh, the second one in <laughs> that very old year, uh, December 2012, Zalman uh, external this three and a half inch disc case, also serial, but that's only USB. No. It also says USB 3.0, eSATA USB 3.0, not too shabby. Uh, anyway, let's put the other one in there. Oh, and I should mention, uh, these screwdrivers, they came with the Zaman cases. It has been a while since I had these open. Yeah, that looks a wee bit different, doesn't it? A wee bit more massive and solid. Anyway, the disc in here, yeah, it crooked up. Uh, Seagate Barracuda, uh, three gig from uh, also <laughs> December 2012. Let's get that off now. I really couldn't remember how these Salmans were constructed internally. I just have, because they are that so, uh, they are really old, uh, look at these electrolytic capacitors here. But they seem to be in good nick, no bulging at all. So let's continue and put one of these discs in. I mean, I have no idea if the controller here uh, can actually handle uh, six 
terabyte disk art we will find out i guess so that slides on nicely uh yeah i have to stand for <coughs> my new one somewhere but uh anyway <laughs> let's see how these discs are working so let's switch this thing on and let the spin uh, the disk spin up and this is really just a test if that old sata uh, chipset in here can really handle a six terabyte disk uh, these disks have a 512k sector size emulation their native sector size is 4k so yeah disk is spun up and i plug that in now and we immediately see the disk okay 550 something gigabytes so yeah full size so let's initialize that thing and i'm using a good old master boot record nothing fancy here and we have the first problem that was stupid because master boot record cannot handle such bits disks so we convert that to gdp and now we can format that ntfs standard size uh, let's call that back up even or back up out it will take a while anyway i guess so uh yeah oh no there it is that was fast even uh via usb 2.0 i'm flabbergasted so that worked nicely Okay, uh, let's do the same thing with, uh, yeah, the other disk case uh, when I can find it. Just a sec. Now, everything is different with these newer and cheaper. Uh, yeah, uh, watch the unboxing and first impression videos for these external HDD cases. So, first of all... I have problem really pressing in the power switch deep enough so it would lock. I'm waiting for the disc to spin up. Maybe it only spins up. I can't hear it. So yeah, it might be a little bit quieter. Now the disc is spinning up, okay? Only after you connect uh, the eSATA or USB. That's a little bit of a bummer, but yeah, uh, it works. Here it is, okay. Same game as before. We initialized that uh, with GPT. Not making the same mistake again. And we create a new simple volume, maximum size. And NTFS standard sector size, and this would be back up even. Let's see. It's formatting, and ah, there it is. Wonderful. Okay, now let's try the same with eSATA on my NAS. So yeah, you saw that in the previous video too. Uh, yeah, at the back of my rack here. Uh, trying not to get into the camera view. You probably only see the back of my head. And if I can manage, I can plug in the SATA. My good old Salman is happy. Uh, yeah, the uh, QNAP is also happy says it has eSATA connection. I don't see here any eSATA activity, but we'll have a look at the web interface in a second. 
So yes, my QNAP actually uh, recognized the drive. And there it is, a Toshiba NTFS, uh, 5,500 something gigabyte free, wonderful and ready for backup. And uh, yeah, I probably won't test that with uh, this one. I did that in that previous video already and I don't expect uh, any problems. Uh, there might be some drawback in that <clears throat> combo between uh, these old Zaman external case and that new SATA disk because the uh, Zalman probably doesn't support uh, SATA 6G, so 600 gigabytes per second. But so probably doesn't my old QNAP here. Yeah, that's also the eSATA interface there doesn't have 600 gigabytes per second. I don't, a uh, megabyte per second. I don't think so. Okay, I should probably tell you a little bit about the disks themselves. So these are Toshiba Enterprise drives from the cap capacity series or to be more exact from the MG08 series. And yeah, they are enterprise drives, okay. They are not quite cheap. So the six Terra set me back about 150 bucks. And I don't show you a listing about that because I just ordered it at a regular computer parts dealer, alternate in that case. So yeah, they are three and a half inch. We know that they came in SATA or SAS. Uh, of course, they are for 24 seven operations, five uh, year warranty, uh, Toshiba stable platter technology, whatever that is, persistent write cache technology. That's an interesting one. So if the power is cut from the disc, it uses the motor of the spindle uh, to generate <laughs> electricity, enough electricity to write what's in the write cache back onto the disc. So yeah, interesting. Uh, yeah, 550 terabytes here of workload. Uh, I won't quite reach that, but I back up my whole NAS uh, every night onto that disk. So yeah, there's some workload. Uh, flexible block size, blah, blah, blah. Rotational vibration sensors, blah, blah, blah. And please note, they obviously don't come with that nice sticker on top, do they? So let's have a look at the data sheet. Two, I have an MG08 ADA 600E with a 600 gigabyte capacity. That's uh, disk vendor gigabytes. So uh, yeah, uh, block size 512K emulated, a 7200 spindle speed, 256 megabyte or mebyte of a storage a SATA 6 gigabyte and average latency for 4.2 milliseconds, read average seek 7.4 milliseconds, write average seek 8.2 milliseconds, sustained rate, this is read, I guess 239. Uh, operating power 9.6 watts. Yeah, we had a look at the amps. And this one has 2 million hours mean time to failure. Okay, that's why I bought that thing. I wanted a reliable disk on my backup that can run 24 7. That's it today. And no, this is old Seagate, uh, eight, nine year old out of the Salman. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, both of the new discs I unboxed are now in some cases, so we can have a, a final look at them. But anyway, I keep you updated how these things are working out, but I'm a Toshi fan, so I'm pretty confident they will perform perfectly. Anyway, another question arises now. I noticed that, and I measured it, that the wall ward of my Salman case was defect. In the last video I showed you it's working up extremely. So now the question is, was it the Walmart, a wall ward, or was it the also eight, nine year old Seagate Barracuda, three terabyte? 
Oh, uh, well, I guess we will find out in another video. Uh, but of course, we will have a teardown of this 12 volt 1.5 amp Zalman wall ward, which is uh, from PowerTex, which is really small. Yeah, will be interesting. Till next time. Bye.